Italian factory managers during the Industrial Revolution felt like their workers' coffee breaks were too long. So that caused a series of inventors to introduce and then amplify pressure as a brew variable. That in turn produced a faster drinking but significantly smaller, more saturated and complex beverage, the likes of which changes the ratio of brew water to coffee grounds and impacts alkalinity. Those three things, that changed ratio as well as the complexity and the saturation, serve to uh, amplify each uh, cup attribute in espresso preparation. That's why espresso requires a specific approach when you're roasting for it. In our book and our class, we cover some of those common approaches, as well as how to manipulate uh, cup attributes in general using the five main roast variables. We cover special uh, considerations as well, like uh, freshness, Americanos, white coffee, and iced espresso. Um, and in the class, we get into some practical exercises, tastings, um, we profile some espresso on the roaster, and we explore uh, water chemistry uh, in a little greater depth. It doesn't matter what type of espresso machine you use or your preferred espresso style, whether it's darker or lighter, uh, third wave or traditional. The information as presented will teach you how to manipulate the roaster and achieve an espresso roast that you're happy with. We teach the class in each of our facilities, but we can also come to you and teach uh, you how to roast for espresso um, in your facility. So reach out to us and uh, let's talk about roasting for espresso.